action. Hi, my name is Amber Bouchard, and I am here today to present a painting I picked for my Art in a Day project. I am at my home in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and the painting that I'm presenting to you I own. And it was a gift from me from my friends and the artist of the painting, Arrington Grimmer. Grimmer is the artist of the painting, and she named it a key, which is Japanese for autumn. She said she was inspired to paint this picture because of a particular tree in her front yard. Many trees at that time had already lost most of its leaves, except for this one, and she decided to paint it. Knowing that I love pictures and paintings of trees, she dedicated it to me. Ever since I was really little, I've always loved how trees looked, just because of how unique and different every tree was. And it didn't matter the season it was at the time, uh, every tree was just going to be absolutely gorgeous. Um, Arrington painted this picture for me for a Christmas gift, and she knew how much I love trees, she gave it to me. Uh, this, painting, this painting is very special to me because uh, a dear friend drew it for me, and we've been friends for a very long time, and we've, you know, we played trumpet together in our band, and we always took classes together, and we were just really, really close. Uh, Arrington was always known for being able to uh, just make to draw any picture and make it gorgeous. And I really always respected that, and so did everyone else. Uh, currently, she is going to college at Lyon, and she is um, uh, majoring in art history. And she paints a lot of pictures. Uh, at this time, most of her paintings have been uh, featured at the mall, uh, public libraries, and uh, the university in Jonesboro, which is my hometown is. Um, once we graduated, she has gone on to paint some really, really pretty paintings. Um, I asked Arrington how she made this painting, and she said it was very simple. To create the tree, she took it and applied newspaper to rock hard and to form it and waited until it dried completely. After it was dry, she painted it with acrylic paint on canvas. The painting is very asymmetrical, asymmetrically balanced, even though both sides of the tree aren't symmetric. It has a very aesthetic feel to it. I like that Arrington didn't make the tree symmetric because no tree is the same, which added to the painting's individualistic style. There are many elements and principles about this painting that make it creative. One would think, because the painting's subje subject is depicting, depicting a tree in autumn, that it would be similar to a landscape. It is, it is but in a different way. The painting has many irregular lines, such as parallel, perpendicular, converging, horizontal, diagonal, and vertical lines. For example, the tree's branches are converging in regular lines. As you can see, the brush strokes of the paint are irregular, converging, and diagonal. Arrington uses five colors, green, red, blue, yellow, and orange, and combines primary and secondary colors to make intermediate colors, gold, blue, green, red, orange, orange, yellow, and yellow, green. When I look at the painting, my eyes are immediately drawn to the blue on the tree, which seems like the heart of it. And the brush strokes, which are portraying the branches and the leaves of the tree, make your eyes focus on the tree. The colors are very intense with saturation of the colors, which aids the idea of this painting depicting a tree in autumn. I think this painting depicts one form of methodology, formalism, because the painting is centered around the composi compositional elements of lines, colors, shapes, and textures. Arrington says she is greatly influenced by Van Gogh and stated that he is her favorite artist. She loves Van Gogh for his creative use of brushstrokes throughout a painting and how his brushstrokes are free form. It compelled her to use the same technique for this painting. She has also been influenced by her art teacher, Nancy Zimmer, who taught Arrington everything she knows today. Arrington's art teacher once did a painting which, with rock-hearted clothing, and it inspired her to rock-hard trees, like this one. She thought it was so unique and innovative because she had never seen another artist do that before. The colors in the background are representing all of the trees shedding its leaves. I chose this piece simply because I am always so taken aback by how beautiful every tree is. 
and my dear friend Erickson painted a picture for me of a tree during autumn, hands down my favorite time of year. I think that painting is very unique in it and in a strange way. It, also, it almost seems as if the tree is on fire and the flames are overcoming it, and it blends into the autumn sky. It's strange. I almost feel uplifted while looking at it, like the flames or leaves are raising me up to a greater being, maybe my version of paradise. It's a wonderful feeling. I have also enjoyed talking with you today about a dear friend and a beautiful painting. I hope you have appreciated it too.